so much excitement in the crowd right now, but here in the bottom left, representing I am the Red Protoss, this is Yonghua. Yonghua, man, this guy has been around. He was Artosis's uh, poster child for how to play Protoss versus Terran. Uh, he was the representative. He's up against Creator here, his opponent, to the top right in the blue. And these two players have been around in StarCraft II since the beginning, since the open seasons of the GSL, since the very first uh, GSTL, the very first team league that we yeah. had for StarCraft II in Korea. Young Wan was there, and that's where you know he got his his name out first. Yeah, that's very key to note. Actually, these guys have been around at least for the beginning of the GSTL, one of these uh, team leagues that they they have a lot of experience at least playing in some sort of team league. So these guys, you know, they they have the experience. They have been in the booth a lot before. They have a lot of experience behind them. They are going to play a great game here. This guy, I think, just he came uh, late from work, so yeah. he missed the pizza, as we <laughs> <he> said. <laughs> I think the Korean cast just said he was going to buy him a pizza. So that's that's great news for him. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we have a cannon rush. We have a cannon rush. Meanwhile, coming Meanwhile. out from Creator, a 10 gate, a 10 gate wave from Youngwa and a cannon rush from Creator. And this is crazy, man. I saw his face in the booth right before this game started. I'm not sure if you guys got a, a look there, but he let out a big sigh, closed his eyes. He is nervous. And I, I you know, this forge, this cannon rush here, I mean, is it because of nerves? Does he not feel confident in himself to do a really straight up game against Yongwa? I don't know, man, but this is crazy. I love when cannon rushes actually happen in competitive games. I was going to make it as far north as possible, knowing the likelihood of his opponent's gateway placement being that close is very, very small. He's not going to send his first probe into the main base, but rather his second. This is a very fast cybernetics core, on the other hand, and oh. with the fast core, he will be able to get range units out, but he doesn't see the probe! He doesn't see it. Well, the probe coming in here now, acting like a, a scout, but he is going to get a probe on him. Tries to start a pylon. He does, and that kind of is seen. The thing is, with this with this map, the first probe, uh, the first pylon that he makes on the high ground, will actually uh, put him in range to make a cannon for the nexus. He has to use stalkers here. He has to micro perfectly, or potentially save minerals and then send the stalker to his opponent's base. But stopping these cannons from hitting the Nexus is absolutely not going to happen. And Brennan, those cannons are in range of that pylon. They're in range of the pylon in the Nexus and the gateway. They're in range of everything. And there's three of them there. And you can see Yongwan's response. He is sending units to his opponent's base right now. Yeah, he's got to send that first zealot over there. But one zealot alone, likely not to be enough, especially with Creator's defensive cannon going up in the mineral line. Perfect timing out of that cannon there. He's going to be de able to defend that zealot and all three cannons in the main base finishing now. Starting damage on that pylon. The gateway is unpowered as well as the cybernetic core. Not going to get that warp gate at all. The zealot is going to come in here, face a cannon. Be very, very disappointed. Very disappointed indeed. All he has to do is micro his probes. It doesn't even micro the zealot. Zealot gets nothing. And Youngwa could not be happy about this. His nexus is now under fire. There's no way for him to to do anything except try to transition to his next at the low ground, but with no tech, I don't see it happening. I don't see it happening at all. I don't see it happening at all at either. I mean, he is starting two other gateways as well as getting that Cybernetics core powered as well. At the same time, that Nexus is also getting up. It is almost finished on the low ground. Don't forget, he does have that re warp gate research. It will finish. Yeah. He just doesn't have a lot of minerals to work with right now. But with the natural up, he may just very well be able to win this game still. It's not over yet. It is definitely not over yet. He is sending all those probes there. He does have a lot, a sizable number. But at the same time, Creator in his main base, not going to try to cannon that natural just yet. Yeah, I think he's just going to try to transition at home. What he may need is cans on the high ground uh, and potentially also, uh, Warp Gate Research is definitely going to finish. He tries to stop it, but it's not happening. In fact, I'd like to see him cancel that cannon. That's not going to get him a whole lot done. Uh, we'll unpower two of the gateways before that pylon finishes. But going back to what I was saying, he, he may want cans on the high ground here. I am I am Youngwa putting the pylon on the high ground of his opponent. The Mothership Core very useful here if it has enough energy, but right now, quite frankly, it doesn't, and it won't. It won't definitely. It will not. Those three stalkers have to get warped in in the main because the pylon is not done at the base of Creator just yet. And Creator that's, struggling so much to get these units out right now. That's really important, uh, what you just mentioned, the pylon not being ready, because now the Cybernex core is gone. For Youngwa, he lost it to those cannons, so he can only make Zealots here. Zealots are all he's going to get. 
He's got these Stalkers, and then the rest of the Zealots is going to warp in here. That four pylon will actually free up supply enough for him to continue the attack. That Mothership Core is everything. It's a time bomb here. Yonwa has to win the game before it has enough energy to actually use that overcharge. He's got that one can to help out as well. How good is the micro up here? Let's find out. We're definitely going to find out here. He has that cannon in the back there, but that's not going to do any damage just yet. Just being on the outskirts here with the Stalkers right now is Yonwa. Just trying to pick off a bunch of probes, getting some damage onto the Zealots as well. Yep, he's just trying to keep that Mothership Core alive and try to buy enough time. He's trying to chip away at that Nexus as well. This is so, so close. Remember, he has a fully mining Nexus back up in his natural, but he doesn't have a Cyber Nexus Core, so that's the one thing he's missing here. We need to see a little bit better micro up here from Krayer. The Mothership Core is so low! Under energy! There's the Overcharge! The Overcharge goes down just in time. He's going to be able to hold off the push just for now. Youngwa moving his units back. The pylon is in range though, but that is just one pylon. He's continuing to warp in these zealots. Starts a cybernetics core at his opponent's main base. It won't be powered for long though, as the pylon does fall. But this game still not over yet. Don't forget, still a full mining base here. Starts a starts a gas at home. The, the problem is that Creator just has the better gas income. He's fully mining, and he's going to be able to get some more tech out. And he has the Mothership Core as well. If he kills this army, it's all over for Yonghua. And he has the advantage in units. He's going to try to snipe out that sucker. He gets one, going for a second one. He's about to get it. He doesn't quite finish it off. He does do it there. He's going to get the third one, and that is the end of the Stalkers for now. Going Maybe the end of, Yeah, it may be the end of the game, I was going to say. I mean, because he doesn't have any more, any more Stalkers. And Zealots alone can't kill these Stalkers. The Mothership Core even helping out. There's a can in the mineral line. Look at the rest of Creator's units. And that likely will end this game. Now just chasing down that last Stalker. He finally gets the Cybernetics Core up, but it's not in time. Continuing to kite these Zealots. That dances his Stalkers! Dance the Stalkers, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Creator has done it. He's held the push. He will kill the remaining Zealots. And there's nothing, and I mean nothing, Yonwa could do. He could warp in units even at his opponent's main base. GG! Ho ho ho! Oh my god, Creator, what a game out of this guy. There, the momentum is now even further in Prime's favor. The crowd chanting his name as well. <laughs> Brennan, I couldn't have asked for a more exciting PvP. Mad Wolf, I got chills down my spine watching that game. That was intense. That was crazy. The energy on that Mothership Core was everything, and I mean everything. 100 energy fires it off. Mothership Core goes down so, so close. Man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still like, I'm got, I've got chills all down my spine, all over my arms. And Krayer did not choke under pressure today. He did not choke. He was just barely able to get that Mothership Core to stay alive for just the amount of time he needed to get that photon overcharge. He just got it. He was able to hold off the push. And to have the And that's what gave him the win.